Hey guys, I'm Gamer Mate. Welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a varying camera shake effect. So, let's get into the video. So first off, in the replicated storage, we have a remote event called Shake Event. Then, in the server script service, we have a script called Shake Server. And then, in the start player, and then start the character scripts, we have a local script called Shake Client. So, if you open up the server script, the Shake Server script, so up top, we have a variable called shake event, and this equals to a game dot replicate storage. Then we're waiting for the child shake event, which is that remote event. Then we're going to be waiting five seconds, and then we're going to be firing the shake event to all the clients, which is all the plays in the game. And in between brackets, we have a number five here, and that's going to be how long the shake effect lasts for in seconds. So this will be five seconds, and then that's it for the shake server. Now, if you open up the local script. So up top, we have variables. So the first one is the shake event again. Once again, it equals to game, the replicate storage. Then we're waiting for a child shake event, which is the remote event. Then we're making a variable called character. And this equals to script's parent, because anything that's inside the start character scripts will be added into each character that joins the game. Then we're making a variable called humanoid. And this equals to a character. Then once again, we're waiting for a child humanoid. So down here, we're using the on client event on the shake event to know what's the remote event has been fired by the clients. And then this time in between brackets is that number that we say it to in the serve script. So this is going to be the amount of seconds the shake event lasts for. So because we serve it to five, then this will last for five seconds. But down here, we're making a variable called start time. And this equals to a thing called tick. So this will equal to the time when the remote event has been fired by the clients. And we're going to be using this so we can see if the amount of seconds from when it started has passed. So then we're able to set the camera back to the default position. Then down here, we're using a repeat loop to repeat the actual camera shake effect. Then we're using a wait just so it doesn't like blow up or lag the game. Then down here, we're making a variable called end time. And this once again equals to tick. But this time, this is going to be equal to the time it is when the shake effect actually stops. So we're going to be checking if the amount of seconds has passed between these two times. And if it has, then we're going to stop the loop. Then down here, we have three variables, which all equal to math.random, and then a number between minus 100 and 100, then divided by 500. If you want, you can change these numbers, depending on if you want like it to shake more or shake less. So, because these variables are inside the repeat loop, then the number is going to always change, which will then give it like a shake effect. Then down here, we're changing the humanized camera set property, which is like the camera position, to be equal to vector3.new. So we're going to be saying that to x offset, y offset, and then z offset, which will be these random numbers. And then down here, we're using until, which is part of the loop, so repeat until. So we're going to stop the loop when the end time minus the start time in seconds is higher or equals to the time, which is our amount of seconds. I will say it too with the server script. For example, if the end time minus the start time in seconds is 5, then we're going to stop the loop. Then we're going to set the humanoid camera offset property to vector3.new. And this time we're going to set it to 0, 0, 0, which is the default camera view. And then that's it for the script. If we close it off and now if we click play, then after 5 seconds, it should shake the screen like this. There we go, then it stops, and all players in the game should see that as well. So guys, if this video helped, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe down below. In the description, you can check my Roblox group and Discord server, and I'll see you later. Bye!